Hi y'all. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. I'm out here enjoying the beautiful weather. It's a bit overcast and perfect for the hike and bike trail, which is right up the street. Good morning. So we're going to get started here. Welcome to my open house or virtual open house located at 500 South 3rd Street in fabulous 04. So it is uh, Unit C. It is in a, a detached condo. And we're going to go ahead and talk about it here in a few minutes. But I wanted to get us started. I'm Carrie Woods from Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Texas Realty. I'm on the Perry Henderson team. If you need me, ding me, uh, ask any questions you want along the way, and let's get started. All right. <clears throat> so again, this is 500 South 3rd Street in 04. It's Unit C. It is a detached condo. And I want to talk about the biggest plus of this unit right here. Not the car, the double car garage. So if y'all don't know, 04 is obviously hot as all can be, but it also doesn't have enough space to do carports. And this one has two car garage. So it's rare to get a garage. It's nearly impossible to get two cars. So this is a huge, 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 huge thing here. And so I wanted to let you in on that and really highlight it. So as we go through the house, we've got a few sets of stairs. I'm just off of a knee surgery uh, two weeks back, so I got a little hitch in my giddy up. Please don't uh, haze me too much for it, but we're going to go a little slow when we hit stairs. Let's go check out this house and see what you think. I'd love your feedback along the way. Glass doors all around. This house is fantastic. It's on the market for $1.399. All right. And here's the first look in. Great open floor plan. And we keep going. It just keeps going and going and going. So this is a three, three and a half with a bonus loft. This was built in 2015. So our buyers actually took advantage of our move up program. So they bought a bigger house just not too far up the street here in Bolden. So one of the cool things is it's got a great private backyard. It's already been plumbed for gas. We're going to start outside and then we're going to walk the house. Great little slab down, but she plumbed it for gas. You can get water out, of, out here really easy. So no problem making an outdoor kitchen. What's cool is besides your little private yard, that building you see in the back, parking for the Palmer Event Center. So if those of you that don't know that, they do fabulous events every year. And so they do, it's where the symphony plays, who I think they had an upcoming event scheduled for Nat King Cole, a tribute to Nat King Cole and his daughter Natalie. Um, it's just such a cool event center. And the symphony here, as you know, Austin's known for music. So the symphony absolutely kills it. It's great. I saw him a couple years ago and was really impressed. No surprise, though. You can go anywhere in Austin and, and find great music. So this, the symphony being so fantastic doesn't surprise me. Gas fireplace all around. Great mantle. You can do some pillows on there. I would probably, with this space, it's so good for conversation. Obviously do the dining room there. It's got a breakfast bar. And then over here, I would probably do two sofas each side of that, that fireplace. Do a sofa table behind it. Do some great lamps on either side of it. And then two terrific chairs and some cocktail tables and pieces in between. I may do a, a credenza over here or even a buffet of some sort or a big piece of art. Now, it is wired to be have a TV either there or above the fireplace, whichever one you want. So you can take advantage of, of either of them and just put art over the other one. Now, one of the really cool things about this, and I'm going to show it off real quick, it is a smart home, but on top of it, the flick of a remote makes the whole thing go dark. And you can do that from anywhere in the house, any window in the house, and it'll just be taken care of for you. 
There is a master code, so you can do all the, the all of them up and down. But who would want it? It's so private. I don't know if I'd ever want to use that feature. All right, so let's get them back open because I love the light. As we know, I'm a sucker for light. HOAs on this are only like 100 bucks a year, which is really awesome because that's not what they go for here. This area, oh my God, you could have so much fun. She just made it interesting. This house looks brand new. I know it's a 15, but it looks brand spanking new. You could do any number of things here. You could do a game table. You could do a bar. Um, again, a console table with a great piece of art over it, a couple chairs. I'd love to see some high back chairs on either side of it. Be super, super cool. Game table, I think, would be awesome because she put in this fantastic little bar complete with an ice maker. And so you could do a coffee bar there, you could do a wine bar there. You know me, I'm going to go for wine. But <laughs> she made full use of every inch of this, this particular space, even to the end of the door. I just really, really, really made use of it. Gorgeous gray counters. She has Samsung appliances. This is a Thermador six burner range though. You know how I am about gas. She's got up lighting under a lot of this. Fabulous built in hood. Look how private this hood is. Just disappears. Super cool. Love the tile work right behind it. Just to touch a little um, pizzazz. And then she did soft closures on all the doors throughout the entire house, which is really nice. And so, as you see, there is a ton of storage as far as the eye can see. This is a smart home, as I mentioned, so you are able to operate just about everything in the house from one panel. This one's not on because it's obviously vacant. The one upstairs is, so I'll show it to you. We have more storage, which is great for a mudroom. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then a little built-in so that you can put your shoes on, do whatever you want. This is the half bath I mentioned. Again, it's a three three and a half. So this is the half bath. She's kept that gray going through the whole house. It's obviously alarmed. There's video cameras everywhere. In that garage I was telling you about, this is what I'm talking about. It's huge. So there is a built-in for files out here. I'm not going to do the stairs on this one because I think you can see it. But you can see easily two full-size vehicles will fit in here. Plus she had some bikes hanging there. Now just to say it's great to have bikes down here. The hiking bike trail is not a half a mile away. I mean, it's just right down the street. Uh, the one that goes around uh, Lady Bird Lake. And then the Barton Springs hike and bike trail is like three miles from here. So it's all really, really close. Not to mention there is a ton going on downtown and you could really use those bikes for. I'll tell you more about them here in a little bit. Back door uh, just goes out to the side yard where you keep like trash cans and things like that. There's a small storage underneath this staircase. That's where most of your extra pieces are. It is keyless entry, entry if you choose. And let's keep going. Sorry, technical difficulties right there. Okay, let's run upstairs and take a look and see what we've got going on up there. It's organized really, really well. Again, apologize for the hitch in my giddy up. So we're gonna be a little slow. And then, okay. Again, see how private it is? You'd think because it's condos, you'd, it wouldn't be that private, but it is, and it's so quiet. Look at all the greenery. It's just really peaceful. So continue up the stairs. All right, on the left is your laundry room. She thought of everything. Look at all of this storage. Just more storage than you could ever want. And all this is silly, most, you know, because you send out everything for dry cleaning. She didn't even miss a tiny detail, like a built-in ironing board. I haven't seen that since the 50s. How cool is that? All right. All right, we're going to keep going. So... Again, all these windows equipped with those power, um, that power when I was looking at. So this is this, the first bedroom we're running into. This one could almost be considered an in-law. And let's go in and check out the bath to it. 
You've got a single sink, but a double vanity, so you've got plenty of room to do whatever you'd like. Huge stand-up doorless shower. So let's say you are, you know, have knees like mine. <laughs> you can get in and out of it really easy. Look at the tile work. It's subway tiles, but they did some interesting stuff out of it, which is great. And then water closet. I like this little detail in her, in this, this pantry, her storage uh, that she has in the bathroom. She did this little drop down drawer, which just goes into the laundry. Uh, little touches like that make a big difference to me. So, hi everybody. <laughs> so in here, the closet's a nice size. They also had a media, a media um, cabinet in here. I apologize. Media cabinet, but she did a built-in drawer as well, a built-in dresser. So, and again, with the soft closes, that would be great for jewelry, the particular size of that one. But this is a nice size closet for a guest room. So like I said, it would be great for a mother-in-law suite. And let's keep going. Look at the carpet. The carpet's beautiful. Great texture. It's just interesting. It's not just a shag. It's, it's an interesting carpet. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go upstairs one more time. And so this is that bonus area I was talking about. This could be a game room, media room. Be hard to do a film because it's just so light and airy in here. You can make it a desk, an office. It could be a little gym, put some equipment up here. Really great because the gym would be right outside the master. And this is our second guest bedroom. Again, very similar. This one's quite a bit smaller. So this would be great for visiting guests or family. Uh, if you had kids, things like that. It'd be really good for that. It could also be an office as well. Though I kind of like that space outside for that. Little closet. Not bad. And here's the guest bath. So, full bath. Hi again. <laughs> full bath. All right. Let's keep going. And now we're going to the master. The master's huge. Easy, easy, easy to do a king in here. Again, what I was talking about earlier, it does have everything controlled from both floors, which is really nice. Huge, huge space. Oh, I pulled up the windows. I obviously missed one, my bad. <laughs> um, hi guys, nice to see you again. So here's the master bath. Great sunken tub. Go in, you have double vanities on both sides. Again, see how she kept the style going through the whole house. So all the cabinetry speaks really cleanly and well to each other. It doesn't matter what room you're in. Nice large closet. It doesn't have a his and hers in this one, so you may commandeer one of the other ones. But she did all the little bonuses on everything. Clear down to things like tie bars. So just little tiny details that I notice. Those things mean a lot to me. So tons and tons of space, actually. It's laid out really well. For not being a ginormous closet, it's laid out exceptionally well. So water closet. And then back here, again, with the doorless entry, doing some interesting tile work. I happen to like the big, tall, open windows in here. I think it's cool. I love the natural light, but look at the shower heads. This is something the husband would love. As we know, he loves the showers. But yeah, for two. Shower for two. How great is that in the master? Hi again. <laughs> so that's a quick, our first run through this home at 500 South 3rd Street, Unit C. And I'm going to go back downstairs. And we'll talk a little bit about some of the stuff that we have going on here. I mean, there's a ton to do. This is in Prime Austin. Okay, got a handoff, guys. Sorry. Um, sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean to get quiet on you. Uh, stairs just to, I have to pay a little more attention when I go down. So anyway, um, it is prime, 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 prime real estate. This is where everybody in Austin wants to be right now. This is the hottest uh, ticket in town, hence why it's 1399, which I actually think is a really good price for this property. Again, you never, ever, ever see two car garages 
that's just unheard of um, over here in 04. Now, right around the corner is Uchi. If you're a sushi fan, oh my God, great food. I would eat it if it was in California, which tells you that they can cook. What's cool about Uchi is also right around the corner, the other way, is Franklin's. Now, Franklin's is the big barbecue joint here, if you guys don't already know. The chef from Uchi and the chef from Franklin's got together and they created Loro. It's a barbecue Japanese fusion restaurant. <laughs> Sounds horrible. And they work it almost like I've ever been to Philippe's in LA, anything like that. It's almost like a counter service uh, at the price of a counter bar, but phenomenal food. Really interesting off the charts. Like sushi with smoke flavor is the best way I can explain it. So that's right around the corner as well. You've got Squeeze. If you haven't done it before, their brunch is fabulous. You're going to have a line though. I mean, that's all there is to it. They have a bunch of specialty cocktails, tons of great food, farm to table. So it's really well done. I, I've had their omelets there. I've had their sweet potato hash. And they have a frittata there that's better than mine. And I'm making frittata. On down here, food wise, you've got Chewy's right up the street. You have, oh, there's a ton of really good restaurants. Um, can't, none of them are coming to me off the top of my head. But for entertainment, you have, like I said, the Farmer Event Center, the Hike and Bike Trail, tons of stuff. Everything that happens here, South By happens about six blocks from here. If you want to go to ACL, it's at Zilker, which is about a half a mile down the street. Again, you could walk in and out. You've got Umlauf. And I don't know if you anyone's been to Umlauf before. It's a sculpture garden. It's actually a free sculpture garden, and there's a walk throughout it. It's a really, really cool place to, um, to check out and hang out. I've gone there several times and really have enjoyed it a lot. Um, maybe two miles up the street, so five-minute drive, you have uh, Blanton Museum. And then places to hang out. Oh, Sway's right around the corner, too. That's another really, really good restaurant that not only specializes in fusions and farm-to-table and healthy cooking, it also does a lot of vegan vegetarians. So if you like that aspect of it, that's a good place to hang out um, and really enjoy yourself. There's just so much to do here in where this is located. I mean, it's literally two blocks off of the river. So if you want to go kayak, sup, if you want to go walk around and check it out and just walk the Ladybird Lake, it's all right here. Now they don't let boats on Ladybird, so it's a really peaceful lake to be out on, which is really nice. So again, just an overview. This is 500 South 3rd Unit C in, um, in 04, so it's a great area of 04. It is on the market for one three nine nine. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath, double car garage. That's the biggest thing. Um, taxes um, aren't bad at all. Neither are they run run about average, about one percent. And then in the um, they're correctly HOAs are only about a hundred bucks a year, which that's that right now rates are sick oh my god they're at a historic low I want to get in on that I know a lot of times people on these jumbo loans typically I'll throw cash at it I get it but if you wanted to look at them rates are anywhere from you know high twos threes to low fours I know when I bought my house my first rate was eight percent so I had to refi twice to get down to um, under five so <laughs> these rates are crazy right now and um, I would get in on it. Even if it's not on this house, call me and I'll get you in on it. Because with all this going on, who knows what's going to happen to the rates. Let's get in on it before we lose this. I know I am. So let's wander around just one more time. And eh, maybe a couple more times right now. Again, I'm going to brag on that two-car garage. Cannot say enough about it. Walk you through. I showed you the electronic window treatments earlier. Like I said, it's a smart home. It has a lot to offer. I really love really tile work on here. Backyard, let's go back out there one more time. As a reminder, it is plumbed for gas, so you can hardwire your gas line in. Such a perfect day. I just might leave that door open because it's just gorgeous. 
But yeah, see it's plumbed. So just drop the barbecue in, create your outdoor kitchen. Great slab to do uh, entertainment. You could even do a little fire pit over on the outside and do the en entertainment pointing the other way. There's so much you could do with this backyard. It's just really peaceful. I mean, listen to it. We're literally two blocks off the main, one of the main drags through Austin. You don't hardly hear anything. Isn't that great? That's the best part. And you don't hear anything from outside. Again, the house is hardwired all the way through, so any kind of electronics you want to do on it, you're more than welcome to. I've already decorated it once for y'all today. If you want me to go over it again, ask. <laughs> I'll be happy to keep doing that. You know me, that's my old career, so it always comes back. Here's that little breakfast bar that I talked about. Again, you can do a coffee pot. She did plumb that as well. So there's wire. Sorry, my handbag's in the way. It is wired for water. So if you wanted to hook up a coffee machine, there you go. You're done. You got your Nespresso, your espresso machine, whatever you want. The ice maker. Again, the multiple uses of every storage you could possibly find. There's so much storage in this house, you could never run out. You've got a side-by-side -side smart fridge, Thermador six-burner stove with hidden hood. I, I love that. And the undercanner lighting. Dishwasher with a hidden, if you notice, it's got the hidden buttons on it, which is kind of nice. I like that. So Thermador products are great. And then the soft closed drawers. That's awesome. We'll go back down the hall. Little mudroom, like I said, more storage than you could ever use. Pantry, whatever you want to use it for. Little mudroom to throw your shoes. The first half bath. And the other three full baths. I'm going to walk into that garage that I was bragging about. It is a no-touch lock system if you want to use that. There are built-ins in here as well and again look she's kept it uniform throughout the entire place which I think is awesome I mean she's just she's taken care of this house if anyone knows me they know I'm OCD she's got me beat <laughs> so here's that two-car garage you can fit full-size vehicles in here no problem which just doesn't happen in 04 it just doesn't period I, I'm not fooling you like go do the research it seriously doesn't little the stairs back door just goes out to a side yard that has um, your trash cans and recycling and all of that um, let's go back in I'm so jealous of that stove I would do anything for it just because we've got new people that showed up here a second ago we're gonna play with the, the window treatments once again isn't that cool So, and we can do this throughout the house. It can be done in every room from every floor. Let's get them back up though. I love the light in here. I can't, I can't lie. I love the light in here. All right, and so what do you think of the chandelier? I can't believe she left it. I think it's super, super cool. I like the Edison S lights, but I just think it's really well done. Begs for a giant, just square statement piece right here, doesn't it? Just beautiful. If you notice, this house is also empty. There's not a stitch in it, but yet it's not echoing that bad, which that rarely happens in a house this size. So we're looking at a little over, I think it's 20, or a little under 2750. I think it's 2743 or 2643 square feet. So good size. We're gonna do the stairs again. Excuse the hitch in my giddy up. And, like I said, I think this side, this, this first bedroom, I think is right for an in-law. Oh, I've met the neighbors before. She's super cool. She's a lot of fun. That's someone that you'll be sitting out on the patio having wine with. She's a lot of fun. So, again, there's another little loft. We'll go up there in a second. We're going to go into the laundry facility. Like I said, tons and tons and tons of cabinetry. So if you have the junk drawer downstairs, no longer have to have it in the kitchen anymore. <laughs> so there's room for it. This is where your junk drawer goes. And like I said, something I haven't seen since the 50s, which I think is super cool, is a ironing board. Now my husband would love this because my husband irons our, our linens. It's his therapy. He just likes it, but, so he would be into that. <laughs> so up here, 
I don't know if you know what that is. It holds your brooms and mops and all that type of thing. Again, it's the tiny little details that she went above and beyond to create to make your life easier. All right, here's that room that I was telling you is would be great for an in-law suite. You could do a king in here easy. You could do a little sofa. You could do a sideboard. You don't need a dresser because it's built in. So you really can make this a living suite. Again, tons of light. That's so great. All right, here's that bath again. Again, it's a double vanity with a single, so you just get a lot of counter space. Terrific. Like I said, it's got the, the uh, doorless entry for the shower, so people with knees like mine can get in and out of it, no problem. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I've got calls coming in. Um, water closet, like I mentioned, the utility or the storage area has this cool built-in chute for the laundry. It doesn't go all the way to the laundry because it's next door, obviously, but it goes into your laundry hamper, so you don't have to have it out in public. It makes it visibly hidden. Um, and there you go. Hi, guys. <laughs> Great to see everybody. I'm going to keep doing that because it freaks me out to see myself in the mirror. Um, here's that closet. good size closet. They had a media cabinet in here. Still here. Obviously, it runs everything in the house, as you can see. Big closet. So again, there's that built-in, again, in continuity with the rest of the house and still with the soft closed doors. Love that, or drawers. Love that. Okay, it looks like it's a light French gray is the color too, which is beautiful. Or new French gray, maybe. I'm not sure which, but either. It's one of those two shades and it's beautiful. So it's got a slight wash on the floor too, which makes it just blend so spectacular. And just, even just leaning over. Look how great this house is. Just, it's so meant for entertaining. All day long. I could see a giant piece of art on this wall. I mean, this wall is huge. It'd be so cool to do a giant piece of art right there. Alright, so back up the stairs again. This is that landing where we can do any number of things. Like I said, it could be a little game room. It could be an office. Um, just put a desk in here. It'd be really easy to be a part of that. Set it up as a uh, gym because it's right out of the master. So you just really have a lot of flexibility with your master. All right. Again, there's the parking to that former event center where all those cool events happen. They're, they pulled them down for right now, but we're hoping within the next month or two they'll come back up. I want to go... Ron, I know you're watching, so I want to go see that uh, Nat King Cole um, by the symphony. So anyway, here's the second bedroom. Cute little, perfect size room. It's great. You could get a queen in here. You could actually get a king in here pretty easy, but a queen would go miles. It's got a little smaller closet. This would be great for the kids' room. Anything like that. All right, I'm back in the window again. <laughs> all right, here's the bath. Look at all the drawer space. I mean, just... It's those details that make it so easy. I mean, it's just stuck on, but look. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, I love the tile work. And she had brought this tile work in from downstairs, too. Because there's some above that, that breakfast bar. So, I just thought that was really cool. So this is your first, your second full bath. I'm sorry, your first full bath is, is this one. The other one was a three-quarter. All right, and then let's go check out the master. Again, love the carpet. It just has some interest to it. I love textured carpets though, as it is when you do wall to walls. So as a reminder, this is um, a smart home, so you can do just about anything from here. All of the lights, by the way, they are on mood sensors, so you can take them any, any way you want. You just keep pushing buttons until you get to where you want. And she's done that on every switch in the house, which is super cool. This is, you know, the fan. You can pick a speed on your fan. I think that's pretty awesome. Anyway, again, I was downstairs and didn't even bother to <laughs> put that shade up. Sorry, guys. It's beautiful greenery from your, your uh, master. Okay, master bath. Looking at the soaking, soaking tub separate. Big double vanities. Still plenty of space and plenty of storage underneath. 
water closet. And then great master. Again, the closet's not huge. It's how she laid it out. She's made use of all of this space so exceptionally well, which is, is great. I mean, it's little details, just little hangers like this. As I pointed out earlier, a towel, um, tie bar or belt bar. Um, this could be great for taking things down and just hanging them while you're getting ready to decide what you're wearing. It, it's tiny little details. I mean, just how awesome is that? So I just am impressed with what she did in here. All right. And so let's head back again. This is 500 South 3rd Street, Unit C. Three bedroom, three and a half bath. On the market for 1399 great HOA fees and we're gonna walk around just one more time through these rooms just for those that are coming in late all right this is the second guest room and bath okay now I'm gonna point out here in this gym area one other thing she did that's really nice, besides having tons of outlets, she also threw a floor plug in. So if you did a piece of art, a water feature, a sculpture that needed to be bottom lit, anything like that, you've got a power source to make that happen. So in the lighting, so you can really do a lot when people do that, and I, I always appreciate it. So again, with the soft touch plugs, all right, so. Give me a second, we'll get downstairs. And just the way all of the windows are. I mean, there's just tons of them. All of them electronically operated even better. Okay. Here's that laundry again. We're gonna keep going into, this is what I would consider, like I said, an in-law. Um, I'm sure my husband's going, don't tell my mom that. <laughs> She's going to want us to buy it. Huge closet with built-ins. And that's where the media cabinet's kept. I'm just going to walk through real quick. All right. Let's head back downstairs. It's so peaceful here. That's what's great. You literally are in the heart of downtown Austin. And it's just quiet and serene. It's almost like a little tranquil getaway, but literally walk out the back door. And that's, I mean, that's some of the most hopping things that are happening in, in Austin. So again, I love the tile work on this, on this fireplace, gas fireplace. So we talked about race earlier, the, the historic low that they've been in forever. I paid 8% for my house when I bought it. Um, I think Perry actually even got a 7% loan here not too long ago. So, I mean, this is just, it's crazy. Uh, we need to get in, in on it and take advantage of it as soon as possible. Um, so again, so seamless to take care of the smart home. It's just nice. Make everything go away. Here we go. I like the front door. I know when I bought my house in San Francisco, I had a glass front door like that as well, but I had a lot of traffic by where I was at. And so I didn't have this type of privacy where you didn't have to worry about it. So I actually frosted mine in the end um, and it still kept it really light, but I got some privacy here. You don't have to do that, which is awesome. I love the fact that you don't you just you can never shut these windows if you didn't want to and be just fine. I can absolutely see a party going on here. I could see 25 people here. Easy. Absolutely with no problem. I think it's awesome. So, guys, anyone have any questions? Anything you'd like to know about that I have not covered in this particular location? So as you know, this area, 04, it's nearly impossible to get into. So what they're doing here, what's a big trend, is they're buying lots 
and they're putting these condos on them. Like I said, this one was just done back in 2015, and she's taking care of it as if it's new. But this is a common trend around here. But they're beautiful homes that they're redoing, and they're redoing them in this contemporary or mid-century mod, uh, different formations, so that they have some interest to them. I mean, they're just beautiful. But they just don't get properties this big. So the fact that we can get that two-car garage on here is crazy. I mean, it just, I, I can't tell you. I have clients that I've been working with for six months that need a two-car garage because they've got the remote cars. And so they need to plug them both in. They at least need a two-car carport. Port. And um, in Bolden, you just can't get it. Yeah, it just, it doesn't happen. So to have two-car garage is amazing. We are in Bolden Creek, yes. We're at... Um, Someone just asked if we're in Bolden Creek. We are, absolutely, which is not too far off of Zilker, um, right around the corner from, uh, right across the street from the Farmer Event Center, two blocks back from Lady Bird Lake. And you're not finding these in Bolden right now either. They just haven't haven't been able to build them, and they're certainly not these little secluded tree house in the middle of this gorgeous environment. <laughs> I just got a note that said, I see us living there. I think that's my husband. Um, it is a beautiful house. I really, I could be here so comfortably and host. I mean, Easter's coming up. I could do an amazing event here and just enjoy it. Um, now, on top of the two-car parking, you do a little bit of driveway uh, that you can put one or two cars, as you see. We're just down the way, there's another private parking spot, so you can do that. But down here, you don't really even need to drive. Everything's within walking distance. You, like I said, you can walk down to Zilker and go by, go to ACL. You can walk across the bridge and go hit the hike and bike trail or get a bike. I mean, you can ride anywhere. It's just all right here. I tell you, if you guys have not done Loro that I was talking about earlier, that's the the brainchild of Franklin's and Uchi chefs, you need to go check it out. It's super good. I don't know if you can get in today, obviously, because everything's closed. I don't know if they're doing uh, any kind of takeout. I hope they would be, but I'm not certain right now. Just saw a little squirrel sneak by. <laughs> Sorry, I missed him. So again, the whole house is wired, so you can put sound, anything, all over the place. There's nothing that you need to do to this house. It's literally move-in ready, and it's literally in perfect condition. And as I mentioned, the buyers took advantage of the move-up program, so they just purchased another house just a little further in um, and quite a bit bigger. <laughs> so it is substantially bigger and has a pool in the back. So that is something that we do provide at the Perry Henderson team. So if you do move up, we can take care of different things for you, and we give you certain incentives for that, so that's a little bonus. I love this area right here. It's just really cool. That treatment with the steel in it, isn't that pretty? It's just really, really nice. I love it. It's just so, so well done. So I just got a request asking if there was a hot tub or lap pool available. Couldn't do a, 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 a pool out here just because of the trees. It's something that we want to hold on to and something that the city wants to hold on to. But you could easily do a hot tub right here. Not a problem. You could do a hot tub, no problem. I don't know if I would do an in-ground. I'd probably do above ground and just make it really, really cool. But yeah, there's plenty of room to do something like that out here. And that would be fun. There's some gorgeous above ground hot tubs out there too that you wouldn't expect. So do we have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything that you wanna know about? One thing I have to point out, which always makes my husband very, very excited, is it does have a sprinkler system. He's in charge of fire protection in big commercial buildings, so he gets very excited about that. And he gets more excited when the fitters actually put them in line with the other pieces in the ceiling so the can lighting and things like that so that always makes them happy so we need to illustrate something a little silly like that but yes it is sprinkled honey <laughs> that should make you very happy all right so how are we looking on time y'all anyone have the time that they can give me Okay. 
If we don't have any questions, if we don't have any more considerations, anything else you'd like to know about, I will go ahead and wrap it up for the day. To recap, we are in Bolden Creek in coveted 04 in Austin at 500 South 3rd Street, Unit C. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath with a, a loft area and it's on the market for 1399. If there's anything you wanna know about it, if you have anyone that's interested in it or would like to see it, please call me. I'll be happy to set it up within a six foot radius. <laughs> But it is a vacant home right now, so we can tour this at your convenience. Just let me know, okay? All right. I will thank you very much for coming and joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it as well, and let me know if you need anything else. We'll talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye now.